Welcome to this short guide on CAR T cell therapy. It will explain what CAR T cell therapy is and which types of patients it might help. CAR T cell therapy is one type of immunotherapy. Immunotherapies use your body's immune system to identify, attack, and kill cancer cells. In general, the immune system recognizes cells that don't belong in your body and attacks them. T cells, a type of white blood cells, are the immune system's primary soldiers. They travel throughout your body to find and attack harmful or abnormal cells like bacteria, cells infected by viruses, and cancer cells. But T cells can sometimes have a hard time finding cancer cells to attack. CAR T cell therapy uses your own T cells and makes them better at finding and attacking your cancer. What types of cancer patients may benefit from CAR T cell therapy? The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved CAR T cell therapy for people with certain types of leukemia and lymphoma and for people with multiple myeloma. So far, CAR T cell therapies are approved for people who do not have cancer in their primary central nervous system. Also, your cancer must not be responding to other treatments, or it must have come back after two or more other treatments in the case of leukemia or lymphoma, or four or more treatments in the case of multiple myeloma. If you have acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL, CAR T cell therapy is currently only approved for patients 25 years old or younger. Major cancer centers are conducting clinical trials to see if CAR T cell therapy works as a treatment for other types of cancer. In these clinical trials, doctors would like to find out if CAR T cell therapies work for different types of leukemias and lymphomas, as well as solid tumor cancers like lung cancer, pancreatic cancer, ovarian cancer, and many others. CAR T cell therapy uses a patient's own T cells and makes them better at finding and attacking your cancer. The T cells are collected from your bloodstream in a fairly simple procedure called apheresis. Your T cells are then taken to a lab where CARs or chimeric antigen receptors are added to the cells. The CARs act like a cancer cell tracking device. With the CAR added, your T cells become CAR T cells. Now they can more easily pick up signals from cancer cells that have a matching antigen or target that they've been created to find. This helps your CAR T cells find and destroy the cancer cells. CAR T cell therapy is personalized for each patient. Every patient who gets CAR T cell therapy receives CAR T cells created in the lab just for them. Each dose of CAR T cell therapy is made using the patient's own T cells. It works like this. Blood is drawn from the patient via apheresis, and their T cells, a type of white blood cell, are removed. The cells are sent to a lab where the CAR is added to the T cells. The lab then helps the new CAR T cells grow and multiply into millions of cells. This process can take days or weeks. Before getting the cells, the patient may receive low-dose chemotherapy to reduce their number of regular T cells. This can give the new CAR T cells room to multiply in the body. It also helps your body accept the new CAR T cells so that they can find and kill cancer cells with the antigen they are designed to attack. The CAR T cells are then infused back into the patient, or they can be frozen until the patient is ready to receive treatment. After being infused into the bloodstream, CAR T cells multiply in the body start attacking the cancer cells, and generally reach peak levels in the body between one and two weeks after infusion. If you'd like to know more about this process, watch our quick guide to the CAR T cell therapy journey, apheresis to infusion. CAR T cell therapy is usually a one-time treatment. For some people, the CAR T cells can remain in the body and stay active for a long time after infusion. Some people treated more than five years ago have remained cancer-free. Generally, patients whose CAR T cells stay active for a long time after infusion tend to do better than patients whose CAR T cells don't stay active for very long. 
However, this is not always the case. Let's hear from someone who took part in a clinical trial that helped lead to the approval of a CAR-T cell therapy. So I'm Kristen, and I have acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And I am Benny. I am a caregiver for Kristen, who has acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL. Once I relapsed, the options were limited, um, and so I was able to get into a CAR T cell immunotherapy clinical trial at Fred Hutch Seattle Cancer Care Alliance in Seattle, Washington. It was really our last hope at the at the time, and we are very very excited about the research that's being done in this area, in which case they take your T cells out of your body, um, they re-engineer them to be fighters, and they put them back into your body, and they go and they attack the cancer that your body was not killing itself. We are very excited. One month after I received the re-engineered CAR T cells, they did a bone marrow biopsy, and we found out that my cancer there is no evidence of it in my body, in which case I could then use that as a stepping stone to move on to get a stem cell transplant as a hope for a gift of more time and perhaps a cure. And I think one of the things I remember Benny had mentioned is the excitement, um, the day of the infusion. The infusion is about an hour of these re-engineered cells, much like getting a hydration bag or a blood transfusion. Um, and so the engineered cells in a bag looks like white, white cells that they're putting into you. And it's over an hour and the room was full of excitement. And my mantra has been, once you choose hope, anything is possible. And we truly believe that immunotherapy has gotten me to where I am. And I have been in remission for one and a half years. The current FDA-approved CAR T-cell therapies are only for patients with relapsed or refractory disease. Relapse means the cancer has come back. Refractory means the cancer never responded to treatment. It does not work for every patient. There are clinical trials looking at other cancer types. CAR T-cell therapy has the potential risk of serious and life-threatening side effects. However, Doctors have learned a lot about managing these side effects. If you want to see if CAR T cell therapy is an option for you or your loved one, ask your cancer care team if this treatment might be right for you. Keep asking questions until you understand the benefits, risks, and possible side effects of this treatment. Understand that CAR T cell therapy is still very new and doctors still don't know all the long-term effects. Be open to changing doctors or traveling to a different cancer center if your current cancer center does not offer FDA-approved CAR T-cell therapies or clinical trials. Find a caregiver who can provide physical and emotional support before, during, and after the treatment. It's important to have a caregiver support the process. You must have a caregiver with you for eight weeks after the infusion. Talk about costs and payment options for this therapy. Right now, CAR-T therapy is a very complex and expensive cancer treatment. It is available at 100 or so cancer centers. Ask if your insurance will cover the drug and hospital costs. Ask if you qualify for a clinical trial. If you do, the cost of the treatment may be covered. Even if you are on a clinical trial, there may be other expenses that aren't covered by the trial. You may have to travel long distances to get this therapy. Ask if you can get assistance to cover travel, lodging, and food costs for you and your caregiver through your health insurance provider. You can also call 844-792-6517 or visit www.cancersupportcommunity.org backslash cost for more help on coping with cancer costs. Patients who respond to CAR T cell therapy and have manageable side effects during treatment may have few or no long-term side effects and resume normal lives after treatment. But anyone considering CAR T cell therapy for themselves or a loved one needs to know about the risk of serious side effects. Also, this therapy is so new that there may be long-term effects that aren't yet known.
Your conversation with your doctor about CAR T cell therapy side effects might go like this. What side effects should I expect with CAR T cell therapy? You might experience common side effects like low blood cell counts, white, red, and platelet. You may require blood transfusions and injections to increase blood cell counts. You and your cancer care team can manage these side effects, and they are temporary. But a side effect called cytokine release syndrome, CRS, can be very serious. The good news is that it's almost always manageable and reversible. What is that? The symptoms of cytokine release syndrome can feel like a really bad case of the flu. In the first several days, your new CAR T cells send large amounts of natural inflammatory chemicals, cytokines, into your blood to fight your cancer. This can cause high fevers, nausea, fatigue, muscle aches, body chills, difficulty breathing, and low blood pressure. If these symptoms are not managed, cytokine release syndrome can be life-threatening. How's it managed? You may be put in the hospital before or after your CAR T cell infusion. This way, your health care team can recognize and manage symptoms as soon as they start. When caught early, most of the serious side effects of CAR T cell therapy can be reversed. Tozolizumab, or Actimera, and steroids are among the drugs used to treat cytokine release syndrome. As the number of cancer cells goes down, the symptoms tend to go down too. Most patients feel better within two weeks. Researchers are continuing to look for ways to prevent or manage cytokine release syndrome. Are there any other serious problems? Yes. Some patients have temporary brain problems, known as neurotoxicity, which may include memory loss, headaches, trouble talking, or confusion. Sometimes it can get worse and lead to seizures or more severe issues. Your healthcare team will check for these side effects to catch them early and treat them quickly. Careful monitoring is important for catching CAR T cell therapy side effects early. In fact, doctors and nurses get special training and certification to care for patients getting CAR T cell therapy. This ensures that patients and families get a high level of support from their CAR T care teams. Are there any long term effects I should know about? Many CAR T cell therapies target a protein that's found on both healthy and cancerous B cells, a type of white blood cell. This lowers your B cell levels and your body's ability to fight infections. This is called B cell aplasia. Until the B cell levels come back to normal, you may need ongoing intravenous immunoglobulin IVIG replacement therapy infusions to help prevent infections. What if my CAR-T doesn't work or I relapse? CAR-T therapy doesn't always work, or you may relapse in the future. These relapses can come soon or years later. Even if the treatment didn't work the first time, in some cases, CAR-T cell therapy has been tried again with success. Most patients who relapse after CAR-T could consider standard-of-care treatments or clinical trials for their cancer. Many patients find it helpful to compare the possible side effects of CAR-T with those of other treatment options. To learn more about the side effects that may come after a CAR-T infusion, watch our quick guide to CAR-T side effects. Researchers are focused on learning more about CAR-T cell therapy, including finding ways to make it work better, reducing side effects, and making the treatment process more efficient and less costly. Researchers are also working hard to see if CAR T cell therapy can be used in more kinds of cancers. Some patients treated with CAR T cell therapy don't stay in remission. One reason is that there may be more than one cancer-causing antigen on your cancer cells. Some researchers are looking to see if CAR T cells that can target multiple antigens might work better. To learn more about the latest CAR T cell therapies, visit www.cancersupportcommunity.org/carT.